Hey everybody, I am Max Angor, and we are having a swatch at Polyfury, and the dev has made it very clear that he really wants this game to be blind accessible, and it's not. Not yet. Um, I can actually show you why. Okay, so you move the mouse. Cool. That, you know, it is what it is. You can, you know, it's it, whatever. But the problem comes when you try to use the, uh, the controller. As you can see, it doesn't spin your ship like you'd expect it to. It just goes to the axis. Which is great if you're trying to dodge bullets. But if you're trying to play the game, like, as a blind person, that shit won't fly. So, let's go over the options real quick. You've got rebinding for the controller and for the, um, and for the game. Or, and for keyboard and mouse, but... Auto laser is, uh, when you get hit, it fires your laser. I don't know what switch tab left and right do. Input buffer, you know, you don't want to buffer, obviously. Vibration, we're actually going to turn vibration off. Because I'm using a mouse. Audio, you've got full modular audio, which is nice. Um, visual, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the bloom so that you can kind of see what all this is. Oh god, that hurts. We'll even turn on chromatic aberration. And then you've got screen shake. So I'm gonna turn all that shit off. Because that hurts my eye. There we go. That's better. And then you've also got um you've got system cursor and game cursor. Love to see it. And you've got hyper legible and regular font. I mean the regular font is already very legible, but the hyper legible font is very appreciated. So I have written some oh god damn it. I forgot to open up my uh my 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 reader so i may have uh this is a test of your tds yeah, settings yeah I, I forgot to do things i meant to uh i i forgot to do everything i forgot to do my twitch stuff too <laughs> hey chief how's it going all right hey i got a new follower cool um so let me go over what i wrote down um i'm, I'm not even going to bother changing what i wrote what i have on twitch i'll i'll do that in a minute i, I want to get this done so, the dev said point blank that he wants to get the game to be blind accessible, so that's what I'll be focusing on. Um, I'll tag the accessibility options, though, so other players can see it at a glance. He also plans to add options. Let me just open this link. He posted this on Twitter. Uh, currently working on an update to make it fully blind accessible. It's a bullet hell game, but after a few suggestions, it sounds like fully spoken menus, unique sound effects for each enemy attack. Noise and controller vibration when you're close to danger. I have expanded on this idea. Um, it is not going to be easy for him to make this blind accessible. Not as easy as I thought it would be. But if he knows what he's doing, I think he can pull it off. So I go over the other, you know, the stuff we've already gone over. The control rebinding, the modular audio controls, all that crap. Um, controller support as it sits is not blind accessible in the least. Ideas. Super high contrast mode. No background. Just the thick line that shows where your ship is, the boss, and the bullets. No bullshit. Just you know, that. And that's me being a high contrast nut. I love high contrast. It's way easier on my eye. I hate backgrounds. Like, I can't play Cuphead because of the backgrounds. Uh, slow down mode. I'd make this a double option. Put it in the options menu under gameplay and also as an option after a game over. You know, restart or slow down 10%. And, you know, like have it go down to like 40 or 50%, something like that. I mean, hell, maybe 80% if you're feeling daring. So here's what I've got so far for the blind ideas. Alternate controller setup. As it sits, using a controller is in no way blind accessible. Having an alternative specifically labeled for it will be mandatory, as will keyboard controls. In short, the way blind people will have to play this game will be to, will be by heel-toeing it. In an ideal setup, since it's literally one dimension, you'd have to audibly present the game as a side-scroller, left and right. The closer the hazards are to the ship, the louder or faster the audio would be, or some other identifiable means of telling distance. You'd have to find something that works for you, You'd have to find a system that you can explain easily. Um, once you can once you can explain it easily, either through showing or telling. I prefer showing personally, but that's just me being, you know, pro gamer dude. Even though I'm not anymore. <laughs> Boy, pro gamer kinda kinda died off at the 32-bit era for me. <laughs> uh vibration-wise, you just start from the far side faintly and work your way in. The problem is going to be the boss is moving around in the hellish nature of the game. So let's get into the game. Let's play the game. Continue. 
Eh, whatever. Uh, welcome to Polyfury. Move your mouse or stick. So I was just doing practices to check this thing out. Uh, your goal... Dodge. <laughs> ah, there's no, there's no sound for getting hit. That's weird. Is there seriously no sound for getting hit? That's terrible. There are the bright blue triangles behind you. Oh, okay. Being close to danger charges your laser. Did I miss something? There's supposed to be a lot more audio to this. I didn't turn anything down. Yeah, whatever. The point is, he can make the game blind accessible. It is something that, oopsies, it is something that can be done. Damn. <laughs> as, as you can see, my, my mouse, <laughs> my mouse sensitivity is kind of up there. That might be an option to add. Hang on. That might be an option to add. Um, where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. Uh... <laughs> mouse slash controller slash keyboard movement sensitivity option <laughs> or, um, slider. Yeah, I'll just call it a slider and call it good enough. Uh-oh, did I break it? <laughs> I think I did. That's funny. What the hell? Oh, wow, I really bricked something. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, let's restart it real quick. I figures I'd be the one to find these fucking bugs, right? <laughs> Oh, lordy. Uh, Alright, nothing there. While this thing loads... Okay, there we go. Let me just do this real quick. Alright, there we go. Let me just wait for the thing to... Make sure that it shows up on my thing. There we go. Continue the tutorial. All right, let's just get into the game. Wait, did it seriously? Oh, there it goes. So I do have the music turned way down. See, as you can tell, it's already got pretty... Whoa, it's already pretty good in terms of audio. Oops, I got hurt. But it could definitely be improved. It needs... It definitely needs more audio cues. Ow. Oh, I see. I think it could be made blind accessible, though. I definitely do. But, oh, God, the controls. Yeah. Yeah, the controls definitely need work. Um... As you can see, I'm I was jumping around all over the place, and yeah, this is going to be a really short video. I thought it was going to be longer. Damn, I feel kind of I feel really bad in saying this is going to be a stream when I can barely get any time out of this because I suck so badly at it. Um, yeah, it um, damn, maybe alternate mouse controls too. Hang on, I got to write that shit down. Um. Let me see. Yeah, alternate controller slash mouse setup. As it says, using controller. Find accessible. And using the mouse is cumbersome. Uh, let's see. So then in that case, I will add this to an idea. Alternate control scheme whereby... The mouse controller 
keyboard only goes left right no snap to location yeah um i knew i was going to be bad at this game <laughs> But I am willing to work with the dev to make it blind accessible because I think it can be done. I think if you put in, I think if you put in the alternate control option and and modify some of the bosses to to make it to where you don't have to do this jumping shit. Or alternatively, maybe you add like a hotkey. Ooh, that's an idea. Maybe if you add a hotkey. Uh, let's see, hotkey or. 180 degree jump, 90 degree jumps, left and right, possibly on mouse clicks, A, D to move, Q, E to jump, W to laser, yeah, that could work. That could work. So, let's try one of these other bosses. We'll do the hexagon. What in the hell? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, see, I definitely think this... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I definitely think this could be blind playable. But... That's a noise. <laughs> but it won't be easy. Yeah. See? So, I'll go to the menu. It definitely could be done. But it, re it would probably require too much work than the guy would want to do, unless he really, really wants to do this. But if he does... I mean, he'll learn the tattoo. I'll give him, he gets free choice of what he wants on the, on my arm, and then I'll I'll put his in his team's name. I think it's just him, though. The Chief 10. I'm happy to do it. Oh, you are? Okay. But yeah, I mean, you can see, you could see the issues I was having as a sighted person. And But I definitely think it could be done. It's just, it won't be as easy as I thought it would be. But you see what I mean, though, right? If you turn this into a, um... If you turn this into a 2D, or if you turn this into a, into a, audibly and vibrationally rather, a flat plane, and you say the bullets are, you know, left or right, and you add in, I mean, they, they don't even need to necessarily be unique sounds for each enemy. Like, you could have a unique sound for the boss himself, you could have a unique sound for the beam, you could have a unique sound for the, you know, the, the regular bullets, but I mean... Even then, as long as the as long as the blind player knows where the bullets are coming from and know how to dodge, it can be done. But you wouldn't like you wouldn't be able to use a circular plane in order to do it audibly or vibrationally. Visually, sure, fine, whatever. But the trick will be how to translate that into something that the human ear and the human hands can pick up, right? I definitely think it could be done. I'm just trying to wrap my brain around how you do it without blowing through years of your time to do it. That being said, if you managed to make the game without using spaghetti code, you could probably knock it out. I need coffee for my big ass bug. So, I mean, yeah, that's 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 pretty much this game. That is Polyfury. I I honestly really love the idea. I just wish I didn't suck so badly at it. <laughs> But if he does get the game blind playable, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll figure out a way to, um, I'll figure out a way to prove it, and I'll record, or I'll, I'll do a stream where I just turn off the monitor and play it blind, just to show that it can be done, even though I'm half deaf in my left ear. <laughs> and what I'll also do is I'll also try and, uh, I'll also try and send it out to as many blind friends as I have, because I've got one in my Discord. The Chief 10. That would be awesome. I've got one in my Discord. I've got a ton of them on, on, on Twitter. God, I fucking hate Twitter. Um, like, um, I know Super Blind Man would probably be interested in it. I know Rattlehead would probably get a kick out of it. I know Blind Press would probably try it, maybe, if it's on Mac, because I think she has a Mac. I fucking hate how many blind people have Macs. That makes, that makes advocating for accessibility so goddamn difficult, because so many of the games I cover are PC only. 
Not even getting into the bullshit that's trying to use Steam when you're blind. Oh, God. One thing I would advise is, um, and I will be doing this myself when the time comes, is once the game is in, even in a partially blind playable state, I'm going to post it on audiogames.net forum. And uh, that'll get you a ton of, well, I would say a ton of eyes on the project, but you know what Achieve I mean. 10. I think it's doable. The code is pretty flexible and I can do audio panning. Oh, I'm also cool. on a Mac, so that's not a problem. Oh, there you go. <laughs> cool. Well, like I said, if you if you get it done, and, and oh yeah, you'd have to um, you'd have to either put my name in the credits somewhere or publicly, you know, publicly acknowledge me in some way so that I've got something I can point to and go, look, see, I helped. He, it shows it right there the in the credits. Absolutely, one hundred percent. But yeah, once we get it blind playable, I mean, you win. You get the tattoo. You get the name on the on the under on the on the inside of my forearm. You get the whole thing because I have helped a dev, who is the real hero of the thing, to make their game blind accessible. So I honor the dev and I honor the game with a tattoo on my arm. And then, you know, obviously you get to pick the art and no, not safe for work stuff, obviously, and the, the boilerplate shit, you know. <laughs> I am determined enough to put skin in the game, damn it. The Chief 10, bonus, it'll be on Xbox 2 winking face. Oh yeah, and I know blind people have Xboxes and PS5s and shit. I can't imagine it would be that difficult to get it on PS5 eventually. Or PS4 or whatever. Probably be able to get it on Switch too, although the hardware on the Switch I've heard is horrible to work with. So yeah, that's this. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'll give it another try. Let's let's uh, fuck it. Let's try the, the Overlord. Let's screw it. Let's see how bad. Let's see how quickly I die. What the fuck? That's a great design. I love that. See, that's high contrast right there. I love that. Uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> that thing is not fucking around. That is an R-type boss. That's what that is. Damn! <laughs> I think I got I think I got planked. Yep, I got planked. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey. Ten. Eventually, yeah. This actually runs at max FPS on the original Xbox One, so Switch should be fine too. Yeah, there you Cat go. Twenty thirteen forty two. Hello. Hello. So yeah, that is that is Poly Fury, I, a game I hope that we can Cat make. Twenty thirteen forty two. How are you doing? The Chief Ten. Yeah, the Octagon is a bitch. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the it's if it's not the final boss, it's got to be one of them up there. But yeah, I mean that's the that's the game. It's it's I don't want to call it simple because that implies it's easy, which it's not. <laughs> but the premise is simple. It, easy to play, hard to master. That's the best kind of game anyway. That's what I say. Catley 1342. Actually, I am a professional graphic designer. I knew it. Banner, emotes, overlay, or VTuber model. I would uh, love to show some of my recent work. Can you please drop your Discord? Let me just do this real quick. I keep having to do these. There we go. God, I get sick of seeing those damn things. Actually, I don't think those are bots. I think those are actually people who have been hired by those AI art designers, and I'm just sick of seeing them. So I ban them every time I every time they give me their little spiel. It's like, no, I've already got somebody. I don't need you people. Go away. <laughs> I used to get really pissed until I figured out what the scam was. Now that I know what the scam is, it's like, oh, there's another one. Ban. <laughs> but anyway... That has been Poly Fury. That is a game we hope to make blind accessible. I will be working my ass off to come up with as yeah, many I've actually ideas. had more of that type of message than I have had sales. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> that actually makes me really the sad. Really appreciate it, Red Heart. Because it's yeah, it's a great game. It's a great idea, and I know we can do it. I know we can do it, and you'll earn the tattoo. And I hope you'll come up with a good one because you got the hole from my, you've got the hole from my wrist all the way up to my elbow to work with. So. <laughs> You'll get the right arm. Well, most of the right arm, anyway. <laughs> so that has been Poly Fury. I hope to be able to show it off as a blind accessible game. I'd like to thank the dev for stopping on by. You're the first one that's done that in a long, long time. And I have been Max Angor, and he has been Wayfarer Dev on Twitter, and we will see you all next time. <laughs>